Hey guys, Akil Stokes here. Welcome back to the Trading Coach Podcast. Today I have a very special episode for you. I'm going to share with you a portion of a recent interview I did with Dennis Wilbon and Michael Lamott for their Trading Truths Podcast. Today we're going to talk about intelligence and trading and are you smart enough to trade? But also the other side of the spectrum, are you too smart to trade? And that one gets a little tricky and interesting. Now, as I said before, this comes from the Trading Truths podcast. If you're not a listener already, make sure you go over there and check it out. It is an amazing piece of work, kind of like a trading version of Mythbusters. Also, I got some awesome news for you about our free online trading workshop, but I'll give it to you at the very end of this episode. All right, let's hop in. Let's jump right into it. You know, many po- folks do believe that only high intelligent individuals can succeed in trading. Mm. So why do you think this myth is so prevalent? Well, I could tell you that it's not true because I made it and I am not the (laughs) highest of intelligence. (laughs) All seriousness though, um, I'm not dumb by any means, but I, I think the myth is brought up by just how our beliefs are shaped. And I know, I was like this. I've spoken to many traders who are like this as well. If you go back and you look at the traditional way of getting into the market, it's, you know, it's, it's not retail trading. It's not trading on your own. It's working for a firm. It's working on Wall Street. And, yeah. you know, where do these Wall Street people come from? Well, they come from Ivy League schools, which are the, the top of the top schools here in the U.S. So, mm. you know, many traders are brought up, including myself, thinking that, OK, well, I, I didn't. I got a D plus in macro and microeconomics in college. I'm, I go to a, a state school, which is a, a cheaper alternative, but not a Penn, a Princeton. I, I can't be that. I, I can't be a trader. And the reality is it isn't necessarily book smarts that makes you a good trader. It, it's all the other elements that go involved with it. It's, you know, it's it's discipline. It's the ability to, you know, put two and two together. It's strategy development. Uh, we're all athletes here. And it's being able to create a plan, stick to the plan, adjust the plan when it's not going your way. And yeah. you don't necessarily need an Ivy League degree to do that. And You know, one of the books that helped me a lot in this as well was Market Wizards, where Market Wizards, if you're not familiar, it took a look at, um, and there's there's many in the series, but the initial one at least, took a look at many of the greatest traders in history. And that was one of the books that cracked this myth for me or debunked it for me because I I read it and I'm like, oh, not all of these guys are the way I thought they would. And it kind of gave me a belief that, man, like I can do the same thing as well. Um, Yeah, right on. Mm-hmm. Ah, interesting. Uh, okay. uh, any of them jump out at you? Any of those Mark Wizards? Oh, uh, I forgot the guy's name, but I remember this story because I, you know, I'm, keep in mind, I'm reading this book while I'm struggling and I, I'm thinking I'm a loser. I'm thinking I'm not ready. I don't deserve it. All the negative thoughts and I'm kind of on my <laughs> yeah. last limbs, like just finding any type of book I can to hopefully find that super secret strategy. And I remember, I don't remember his name, but I remember it was a trader who had lost everything in the market and he had to go, he, he, he snuck into like a, a back alleyway or a fire escape and he had to call his mother and ask for a loan so that he can get back in the market. And I don't know about mm. you guys, but like calling my mom for help is like, that is like mm. the, the last thing I ever want to do. Like I would rather struggle and, 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 and <laughs> fail on my own than call mommy for help. Um, <laughs> so to see this guy, this professional trader, someone that went on to be one of the best, be in a position where he's like down bad and, 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 and aside from robbing and stealing banks, a last ditch effort to get back in, gave me belief like, man, I can be bad too and that I can overcome this as well. And, and that story really made me believe that there is hope no matter how poor your situation is. You know, the other side of the question about, you know, people thinking that they're not smart enough are the students. And I know you coach people, Mike and I both coach people is occasionally the ones who come along and who are too smart to learn. Mm -hmm. Now, I mean, that's the other end of the spectrum. Mm -hmm. And so what do you think the, the mindset, the mechanics of what they're believing about themselves that that puts them in a position that they're too smart to learn and they won't listen to what you say as a coach. So I've read a lot about this. and I've had some very good talks with um, some of the best trading uh, psychologists out there on this topic. And it was interesting where they all mentioned that 
you get on the other side of the spectrum, the people that are super, super smart, too smart to learn, often struggle more than, you know, the, the, the regular person, I guess you can say. And I think it stems from this, right? And again, I, I don't have experience doing this, but, you know, we all know that person that we grew up with in, in school that knows everything. They get 100% all the time on the test. They get everything right. They're, they're never wrong. Like they are used to, and they are trained to be right, to be right, to be right, to be right. Um, there's something positive in being wrong if you do it the right way, right? Mm -hmm. You could either be wrong and just be like, ah, I'm stupid, I'm dumb, or you could be wrong and and learn how to learn from it. Like, oh man, I, I got the question wrong. Let me go back and figure out what I did so I don't get it wrong next time. And people who are in that boat, they earn a very valuable skill, and especially in trading, because we know that the markets are irrational. We, we can do everything right and still be wrong. And I think the people that are super smart, they don't know how to deal with that. They are used to, I did everything right. Like it should be mm. right. This should be a winning trade. And they can't comprehend like, like what do you mean I'm, I'm right? And this didn't yeah. work out. They don't know how to deal with it. Where on the other side, we can look at something and understand that, hey, we've been wrong before. Like sometimes you're going to be wrong. And we also know that skill of how to fix and go about learning something when we're wrong, where like you said, the people that are super smart and maybe on teachable or, or harder to teach, it's harder for them to kind of admit like, I was wrong. I need help. I need to listen because that skill just hasn't been developed based on where they're at in their life. Wow. That is a great mm -hmm. answer. Go ahead, Mike. Yeah, no. The, so it sounds like they're looking at this game, not in terms of probabilities, but is in something where there, there is a definitive right or wrong. And the way that you determine that is based on the outcome of this particular trade. Versus say, all right, I've got a string of 10 trades, 20 trades. And well, if I got all of them wrong, well, that's a problem. <laughs> but um, if I at least got 50-50, then I might have a winning system. Yeah, it's, I got a good example. My, you know, my kid had a soccer tournament this weekend and uh, they didn't end up making the finals. But like they played really, really well. And we had to tell them like, man, like sometimes you play well and the other team is just better. Like you take pride and like you did everything right. you could do. You guys didn't make any mistakes. Like you, you maxed out and the, the other team, they were bigger, they were stronger, they were faster. They were just better. And that's not a negative. You're not a loser. And, and, and trying to teach that skill of understanding the, like I said, the, the, the kind of the process is more important than the outcome. And if you keep doing things the right way, you know, you will get the outcome you, you know, you want more times than not in the bigger picture. Uh, it's hard to understand that when you're when you've never experienced it hope you guys enjoyed the episode remember check out the trading truths podcast it is amazing also about that free workshop we are hosting a free week-long online trading workshop starting august 13th i'll put details on how to register in the show notes below but make sure you do it right what we do is we cap the space at a certain number of individuals so that way we can keep kind of a serious and intimate environment and if you're not registered, you're not going to get the email about how to join us live and you're not going to get the email with the recordings from each day's session. So do it now. Don't procrastinate. Sign up and we'll see you there. Or at least you'll be sent the recording so that you can still participate even if you're not there actively.